Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. We've got over 675 audios available on a variety of topics for you and we would love to continue to add to that. We try to add to that on a continual basis. Sometimes that um, is several times per week, other times the week gets away from me and that makes me frustrated because I'd like to be here as often as I can for Folks, um, if you are looking at, this is our life lesson series, if you're looking at life lessons that you're dealing with and can't quite figure out what to do with them, or you're overwhelmed, or you're frustrated, or things are not going the way you intended them to, would love to be of assistance to you, you can reach out in a number of ways. Uh, you can reach out through the About Me section of this YouTube page. You can reach out through um, the... Uh, at PO Perception Twitter account. Either way is good. It'll get you in touch with either me or a member of my team, and then we can go from there. Um, and so we'll hop right into today's content, and that is more in the life lessons piece. What are things that you need to do um, in order to get where you want to be? Um, so the first thing is self belief. You have to believe that you are worthy to reach whatever goals are in front of you or whatever goals matter to you. It does not matter what other people believe if you don't believe in whatever you're trying to accomplish. As much to the contrary, if you don't believe in what you're trying to accomplish, all you're really doing is making your own life more difficult in the sense of trying to achieve certain aspirations without getting to a healthy place because if you're looking for other people to believe for you, they're going to be so busy de dealing with their own stuff and their own challenges, positive and negative, that sooner or later you won't have the needs you need in order to be reached in a healthy way. So making a decision that self-belief is the central force behind everything you do is important. And the next thing is be willing to start over. Be willing to start fresh, with, whether it be after a breakup or end of a promotion or job opportunity, whether it be you've moved across the country or you're just in a new apartment, whether it be I start the new day with hope that things can be more progressive than yesterday, thinking about the ways to do everything you can um, to make a fresh start in every opportunity is important because fresh starts lead to resolutions of old problems. When you look at things from a new perspective, you're able to create solutions that you didn't see before. The creation of solutions can only happen when you're looking at things from a new perspective because if the old perspective gained for you what you really needed, that would have been a solution and you wouldn't be having to re-go through it. The next is make every second, every moment count. And, and this is one that I still, I won't even say struggle with, I still battle to do this on a daily basis because having gone through something where I almost passed away uh, about three years ago, it's, it's very interesting in the sense of trying to, um, or went through chronic health conditions where the idea that my future was in great jeopardy, it, it was a major stressor. And that stressor was something I did not want to deal with but at the same time, I realized how much of my life I've wa I had wasted around the wrong people, around the wrong situations, worried about the improper things, or worried about people who didn't care about me as much as I cared about them, or worried about people who weren't going to better their own lives and had no interest in getting to a better place within their own life experience. You can't make somebody want to live a better life and sometimes we try because we think foolishly that, you know, having that ability or, or pulling someone forward is a good way to honor them, when in reality it's a frustration point that doesn't lead anywhere if they don't want it. So making your life matter for you, making your life matter in a way that you never have before is your responsibility each and every day in each and every way. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's always easy it's not but at the same time the next thing in our you know list point is keep things simple so many times people overcomplicate different aspects of living they overcomplicate life in general and they do that because in some way they want control they want to understand how things are going to work out so 
when you break things down to simple form. Do I like how I feel? Do I not like how I feel? If I don't like how I feel, I need to change it. Am I willing to do the work to change whatever I don't like? If I'm not willing to do the work to change what I don't like, how do I restore enough energy to be able to be willing to do the things I don't want to do or face the things I don't particularly like right now? The next is listen to critics but ignore their harshness. Now, there's value in criticism. Constructive criticism can be one of the most valuable things in any endeavor. However, the constructive part is the important part, not so much the criticism. Everyone has an idea. Everyone has an opinion. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. And some of them are useless. And some of them are irrelevant. It's your job to sift through whatever it is that you believe is going to benefit you to the greatest of your ability. This also requires you to kind of reestablish what failure is and is not. Failure often is just simply Incoming the inability request. to keep going or keep trying in a manner that makes sense to you. If you, however, define failure as I achieved a goal versus I didn't, then chances are you're going to fail a lot more than you want to in life because at the end of the day, most people don't get where they think they're going to get in the way they think they're going to get there. Instead, they must focus on trying to find ways to redefine what failure is. Failure is when you quit. It is not when you fall short of your expectations. That's just a chance to uh, recalibrate. And the last one is, are you willing to be different? Be different than everybody else. The more different you are, while keeping some sense of moral uh, normalcy, but at the same time, if you are a person who prefers to live in a tiny house, then do that. If you're a person who prefers to wear purple, then do that. Be you. Be unabashedly, unapologetically you. And sometimes that means that there are people that won't understand you, that won't get you, that won't, that won't identify with you. That's okay. It is better to have a small group of people that accept you for who and where you are, as opposed to people who are pretending to accept you but really not and then you're having to live a life that you consider to be fake fraudulent or hard to maintain so hopefully this is helpful i encourage you to keep your feet on the ground your mind in a moment until next time everybody